The Temple of Antoninus and Faustina is an ancient Roman temple in Rome, adapted to the Church of San Lorenzo in Miranda. It stands in the Forum Romanum, on the Via Sacra, opposite the Regia. The temple. The temple was begun in 141 AD by the Emperor Antoninus Pius and was initially dedicated to his deceased and deified wife, Faustina the Elder. When Antoninus Pius was deified after his death in 161 AD, the temple was rededicated jointly to Antoninus and Faustina at the instigation of his successor, Marcus Aurelius. The building stands on a high platform of large pepperino blocks. The later of two dedicatory inscriptions says, Devo Antonin Noe Diva Faustini XSC, meaning, to the divine Antoninus and to the divine Faustina by decree of the Senate, the ten monolithic Corinthian columns of its pronounced are 17 meters equals tall. The rich bar reliefs of the frieze under the cornice, of garlanded griffins and candelabri, were often copied from the 16th through the 19th centuries. The church. The temple was converted to a Roman Catholic church, known as San Lorenzo in Miranda, perhaps as early as the 7th century but it is only attested from the 11th century Mirabilla Urbis Roma. Miranda may derive from the name of a benefactress. It was then thought that this was where St. Lawrence had been sentenced to death. The deep grooves in the temple's columns are said to date to a medieval attempt to dismantle the pillared portico, either for spolia or to destroy what was then still seen as a pagan temple. Also in the Middle Ages, a staircase was built on the Forum side, but it is now impossible to enter from that side, as there is a gap of about six meters between the foot of the steps and the green bronze door. Before the archaeological excavations, ground level was at this door. Excavations in front of the temple were undertaken in 1546, again in 1810, and at intervals from 1876. In 1429 30s, Pope Martin V gave the church to the Collegio degli Speciali, at the time officially known as the Universitas Aromatorium. Side chapels were built after this date. The church was partially demolished and the side chapels removed in 1536. In order to restore the ancient temple for the Roman visit of Emperor Charles V, the church, now constrained within the cellar of the temple, was remodeled in 1602 by Orazio Torriani, creating a single nave and three new side chapels. The main altar has a canvas by Pietro da Cortona of the martyrdom of St. Lawrence, while the first chapel on the left has a Madonna and child with saints by Domenichino. Christianization has accounted for the survival of the cellar and portico of the temple, though the marble cladding of the cellar has been scavenged. Indeed, the church lacks the usual east end apse. One was never added to retain the temple's structural integrity. The church is normally closed to the public but may be visited 10.00-12.00 on most Thursdays.